What's going on, everybody? This is Caleb and Sarah with the reviews, like a sir. And I am, I'm warning y'all now, I am super hyper, so if I start talking, like, a lot more than I should, um, just put in the comments, hey, shut the fuck up, Sarah. <laughs> and I will. I'm trying to bring it down a little bit. Many people are probably wondering, if you ever watched it, which I don't think anybody did, what the heck is going on? Well, I'm eating taquitos. Taquitos? No, I'm eating pizza rolls. Totinos. Totinos pizza rolls. <laughs> Sarah is currently running the chat and seeing if anybody's actually watching or if it's popping up, which I mean, she's not checking. I don't know how to check it. You go to your subscriptions. No, you're on your own creator studio. You got to get off that. Go to click to YouTube. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. What did you do? Oh, I have to that. Okay, and then subscriptions. Couldn't I just... It's live. I can see it. Cool. Now go to our channel. Creator Studio. Oh, and then live streaming. Good. Sorry, we're getting this a little bit set up. Now you should be able to see what's going on if you scroll up. Or not. I'm not sure. No, okay. So that's not gonna tell me anything. Okay. Camera? New? No. Just get off of that. You can do whatever you want. She's gonna go play Sims while we do this. Hopefully. Yeah, show live chat messages. So they'll pop up on your phone. Well, yeah. If you like what I'm gonna angle this a little bit more so I'm in the shot as well. And it's not just my hair. Okay, so over here on this side of the world. Um, I'm actually, am I not connected to internet? Um, I'm actually, um, she's pausing. Sorry, I'm having to reboot my game. Um, I'm actually working on trying to figure out how to make there be no nudity in the um, Wicked Woohoo ad. Wicked for... Woohoo? Yeah, Wicked Woohoo. It's Wicked Whims. It's the same thing. People know what it's said both ways. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to make there be no nudity in Wicked Whims mod. Um, so that she can upload it? So that way I can make videos <laughs> and upload it because... It's not plugged in, babe. I know, I'm gonna plug it in. You know that you can plug in both of them at the same time, right? What? You can plug in both of those at the same time. I can't do it. I'm too big. Anyways. Um, so, so that way I can make videos um, of Sims still and upload them because my Sims have learned about nudity and so they enjoy getting naked all the time now. And it's a little bit annoying. A little bit. So, on the menu for today are a couple items. First up on the list is a little bit of a throat in reverse, even though we're not in the car. We're gonna be going over Black Cherry Vanilla Bang. In between, we're gonna be going over the Geek Vape Aegis mod, or Aegis, however you wanna say it. Then we're gonna be going over the Aspire Breeze. Nice little mouthful under there. We'll also be going over my baby, my mag kit. Not the tank on top, we'll save that for yes, a later Yes, we're not review. doing the prints, we're just doing the actual mag mod itself, because... Yeah. And then last, but not least, we'll be doing two items from Wish. What's the other one? His harness. Mm. We'll be going over this emotional support animal tags for a pet harness. And we'll actually be going over the pet harness that is supposed to be for emotional support animals. But this one's not supposed to be for my first point. That is just a normal pet harness. Those That'll be a little bit of awesome or bullshit. So we kind of get a good mix of our third and verse vaping rate and... And I want to go over this. Awesome bullshit. Just because, you know, people bash off-brand Dr. Peppers and off-brand sodas, but this is actually not that bad. So we're going to go over that too. All right. So if we want to go over the drinks first, I'll start with Black Cherry Vanilla Bang. 
Now, she absolutely hates these flavors. She loved Bang when I first introduced it to her. And now she absolutely abhors, abhors them. I don't know why. I, I think it's because she tried them warm like one time and, and now she doesn't like it. the flavors. But I personally, the, the, of like the eight flavors I think that they come in, maybe more than that. Now they come in caffeine free, by the way, if you want to get off caffeine entirely. This happens to be my second favorite. The one that I like the most apparently had too much caffeine in it, which was the so blue raspberry version. It. So they're discontinuing it. So anywhere I can find it that is still in stores just means that they had a nice little stock of them. Zero calories per can, zero sugar, all healthy things besides caffeine. Can you hand me my chips? What chips? My chips. Where are they? In a bag. Go find them. I'm pretty sure they're in this bag. No, they're not. Or they're in the macaroni bag. What chips are you talking about? My Takis. Babe, you, those are not in a bag. I promise you they're not in any of these bags. Yes, they are, because I put them in there. Babe, we're not supposed to be arguing, but do you see Takis in there? Not in that specific bag. Nope. Do you see Takis in there? <laughs> there are not Takis in this bag of cold stuff. There are not Takis in this bag of bananas. There are not talkies in this bag of drinks. Okay, why are they over there? <laughs> Who won? Okay, guys, let me just explain why I wanted talkies today. Can I finish my review? Yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Get down there. I will shake a hanger at you, and you, for some reason, fear it. Our dog fears hangers. So. What's your dog scared of? Put it down in the comments. Yeah, put down in the comments. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe and hit that notification button. And maybe like the video while you're at it. <clears throat> so, it has a very, very refreshing black cherry vanilla flavor. Um, I don't have a lot to compare it to because what drinks do you know that are black cherry vanilla? I put that down in the comments as well if you have any of the black cherry vanilla drinks for me to compare it to. Cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. Eh, that's ah. very true. Dr. Pepper is cherry-ish in flavor that's what it's supposed to be and then they have a vanilla version no cherry vanilla cherry dr pepper with vanilla in it dr pepper is cherry from the get-go i know but cherry dr pepper is the thing i personally like this better than that i hate cherry vanilla dr pepper i know what she's talking about i've tried it i didn't realize it was actually cherry vanilla but i hated it i like this right here it's very smooth flavor it doesn't have the initial burn of the carbon dioxide in the, the carbonation inside of it, right off the bat. It's just a really smooth flavor. What and is the password? To what? Your account. Your name, no caps, 1524, exclamation point. I had to rate it compared to other energy drinks that I've had. I would not rate it as high as my blue raspberry bang, but I'm gonna give this an easy 7.5 to 8 out of 10. It is good, it is refreshing, and apparently it doesn't have an extreme amount of caffeine in it like the other one does. Okay, tell your story, do you drink? All right, so we had thought for months that I am allergic to lime. Okay. Long story short. Disclosure. This portion is 18 and up and what she did was completely legal. I was with my mother. Granted, I am only 19, but I was with my mother, which made it legal. Hey, I fixed it. Um, anyway, I was drinking a Dos Equis. I have a lime in it because that's just how you drink Dos Equis. It's just a thing, okay? Okay. And I was I was a little bit drunker than I should have been, granted. Um, I managed to spill it all over this side of my face, this side, as I moved my hand over both sides of my face, and down my breasts. So I have little burn scars on my boobs. Just, if anybody's wondering, yes, I do have burn scars. It's horrible and it sucks. For some reason, they're not on my face, though, which is a little weird. 
Um, her face but, gets more blood flow. It replenishes the skin faster. But we assumed, you know, for a while that um, I it was there was something in the lime that I was allergic to. But then we were like, well, I can't be allergic to lime and not be allergic to other citrus fruits. But that's not true. I could have been allergic to the limonin, d limonin, which is a chemical in peel. It's an oil chemical in the peel of limes. Research done by me. Yes, he he found that out. Um. Because the basic chemical compound or makeup of all citrus juices are the, relatively the same, besides like one or two things that change the flavor profiles of each. So it had to have been something in the peel. This one piece of hair won't stay curled. Okay. Um, so, you know, I've been trying to avoid limes. Well, I want to say it started this weekend um, when I was with my, my mother. with one of her friends and she took me to get Mexican food and I didn't think to ask, hey, does this uh, salsa have lime in it? Well, you know, I sat there and I went through a couple of chips and I went, this definitely has lime in it. But I didn't feel my throat swelling up. I didn't, you know, I didn't feel sick or anything. So I was like, okay, it's a little weird. And I was thinking maybe tomorrow, you know, I'll start showing some side effects or something. Nothing. So today we went to HB and got um, just like actual lime juice, like a like a squeezy bottle full of lime juice, okay? And I dripped it all down the side of my, all down the back of my arm. Nothing. And it sat there for about an hour and a half, and I was like, okay, I'm getting Takis. Because it has lime in it, and I'm not supposed to have lime. And I am so excited, because I'm not dying yet. So, anyway, now we're going to go on to my review of this off-brand Dr. Pepper. By H-E-B. Yes, it's the H-E-B brand, Dr. Pepper. It's called Dr. B. Um, and, you know, everybody bashes, like, off-brand sodas and soft drinks, but this is actually not bad. Like, I do prefer regular Dr. Pepper over this, but this, like, if you know, like, we got this for free, so I'm not really going to complain. It's it's pretty good. And when you can get this for che when you're a poor college student and you can get this for cheaper than you can get actual Dr. Pepper, I'm just going to buy this every time now because... One of the big bottles, like in the coolers at HEB, is like almost two dollars, and one of this brand um, in the bottles at HEB is seventy-five cents. I'm just saying. So the um, that being said, on my profile so that you can tell Hunter to come watch, because <clears throat> you can only do it through the text messages on my profile, and I can't text while we're on live stream. Mm. That brings up an interesting point. I'm live streaming from my phone. So if anybody wants to actually see a review, an unbiased review of the iPhone 8 Plus, let me know in the comments down below because I will totally tear this thing apart. I've had some issues. I love iPhones. I know I shouldn't because I've had a Samsung, but I will tear this thing apart if you also choose because there are some issues and I have a lot to say about it. Let me know down below if you want to see that. Damn it. You didn't switch profiles, did you? I don't want to log out. You can't not Oops. log out. Yes, I can. Shh. See, the purple circle's back. Oh, it's gone now. So, what would you give it rating? Um, I would give it... Okay, keep in mind, I would rate a normal Dr. Pepper at about an 8. You know, because... High sugar content and all that stuff. Nostalgia. Dr. Pepper. More toxic. Honestly? I don't know. I seriously think I would give this like a 7.75. Like it's pretty, it's pretty close. Dr. Pepper. This thing. Like they're pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to lie. So if, if it was cold, it'd probably be better too. Yeah, probably. But like they're pretty spot on. But no, if I do it that way, I don't have to actually log out of any of my stuff, and I can just switch over. Hmm. I don't know. It's phone number. It's not saved in here. It is saved. On the computer? Oh, I didn't realize you had to save it on the computer. Um, I can't remember the last thing we talked about. Oh, is this all the roommates? Yeah. Stop looking at our messages. Keep going. 
Sorry, we're trying to get somebody to hop in here. It'll be further down. Past James. And it's probably going to be a 2 on 4, 4, 6, 9, or 9, 7, 2. Right? Yeah. I think you're going down too far. Yeah, if you got the group project, you're too far down. Does he have an iPhone? No. It's not going to show up on here. This is only your iMessages. Hmm. Do you, where's my phone? Um, it should be in that same bag with locked purpose. Right. Do you know his Snapchat? You can just look them up on Facebook or Twitch. Twitch works too, possibly. Oh, is he streaming? Mm -hmm. No. Well, you should comment and say, tell people to jump in too. Why not? <clears throat> Shameless plug. If you want some decent gaming content with a couple, kind of like how we do reviews with a couple, Go and subscribe to Hunt Race, capital H, H U N T R A C E, on Twitch. He's, yeah, I just put we're live on YouTube, but I'm out there. He's up and coming on Twitch. He's not got many people on there, but he's got at least a decent amount of followers. So go follow him on there. Tell him we sent you. Tell him Caleb and Sarah sent you, if you're watching, which you're not, because there's nobody here. But. As stated, next up on the agenda is the Geek Vape Aegis, or Aegis. I always say Aegis because I, whenever I, because th th there's a Pokemon called Aegis Slash, or Aegis Slash, and I read it as Aegis Slash, and so since then I have said Aegis, because it's spelled the same way, it's based off the same thing. The mythical, I'm fairly certain it's the um, um, Impenetrable Shield. Push him down! Use your freaking hands, babe. Here, you keep this. He hates hangers. Wish sent us a notification. Da, da, da. So, this is the mod. Got a glossy screen with an industrial look with a leather, I'm pretty sure it's real leather, wrap with red stitching on the outside. It says Aegis, Aegis right here. Don't know how well y'all can see that. Aegis. There you go. You can see it right there. And it says Geek Vape on the other side. Has one of those annoying pop the tab up and unscrew battery caps, which I hate. And keep in mind, that is just to keep it waterproof, though. That is just to keep it waterproof, yes. There's so many O-rings to this thing, it's not even funny. Battery cap has a negative sign on it, and I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there's a positive. Oh, you can see it down in the center. We don't have any 26650 batteries, which is what this normally takes for longer battery life. So we're gonna be using an 18650 with the adapter that comes pre-installed in the tube. Screw it down. I'm not gonna be doing any waterproofing stuff right now. It's just not worth it. Because we don't want to destroy this. I paid too much for this thing, but nice. Giant 510, fairly certain it would fit some 30 mils on there. Not that you'd want to use 30 mils with a single 18650 or 26650 battery anyways. But this device goes up to 100 watts. <clears throat> I'm gonna recenter it on me right now. Five clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Lightning bolt symbol. I think it said Geek Vape. And then it'll have a power output right, let's see if it'll show up. There, it's backward, but that's 50 watts. It has your atomizer. It has your ohms for your coil. It has the amps, the volts, and the amount of puffs you've used since we have reset this thing. We have used it, I've used it 294 puffs. We're just gonna put my tank on here, which tank of choice right now is the Valerian. We'll try to put an, a notation right up there, but I rated this tank very highly. I love this tank. We'll put it this way, I have used a Sherman RD, or RTA 
and the same juice, which we might be doing a review over on this live stream or afterwards, tastes just as good out of this tank as Sherman RTA. So, okay, it picked up 0.14 ohms. I'm gonna turn it up to 60 watts. The screen, it takes a while to go. It's not very fast. It gets faster and faster. But it goes up to 100 watts, does not round robin. I'm gonna put this at 60. Because I don't think it'll go higher than 60 on this thing. Maybe it will. Yeah, watch the battery drop. Battery gauge is right there. It's not wanting to pick up very well. Battery gauge is right there, that little black line right there. It just completely drops. But let's give it a two. It's our, the power's already dying off. One second. And I want y'all to keep in mind before I do this, I absolutely loathe this flavor, but I know what it's supposed to taste like. Keep in mind my tongue's a little bit spicy right now, so it's not gonna taste right anyway, so. It's been talky. Yeah. The flavor's cold because there's not enough wattage going through. But just to give y'all an example of what could fit on here. What? Okay. This is a 25 millimeter tank right here. And it doesn't even, it barely touches the outside of the 510, which means you could easily fit a 30 on here if you so chose. But unless you're using a 26650, the battery life on this is going to suck. Let me show you the goodies in the bag and then we will, I'll give it a rating because she did not use it very often. I think she's used it like three times. Total. I used it last night. Oh, I think she's used it like three times total. Some stuff. Cool. What did you unplug? The phone cord. Can you get him away? Re, move. Hanger, boom. In the box, you're gonna get extra waterproofing o rings and screws. I'm gonna get a generously long micro uh, USB cable. And then underneath all of that, it's just an instruction manual. See if I can get it back in the box. Oh gosh, that's hard. Oh my gosh, you missed it. It was terrifying. Yes, he's naked, I see that. No. All right, so what would I rate the Geek Babe Agus waterproof or water resistant or an indestructible mod? I'm gonna give it a five to a 5.5. The ergonomics aren't horrible feels good in the hand, it's chunky as hell, so if you've got big hands, it'd be nice. It's just not meant for my kind of vaping on a single battery, it's just not my forte. So I'm gonna rate it a 5.5. I don't I know. I think last night I gave it like a 5.6 or something. But yeah, all right. Do you wanna say some stuff or do you want me to just go on to the next item? Um. Today's talk about what? I don't know, just do you want to say anything? So, I don't know if any of y'all play Sims out there. Um, but if you do, I highly, if you are a dirty person, I, hi, oops. I'm trying to get I closer highly, so the dog can't get through. I highly recommend um, getting the Wicked Whims mod. And, like, it is so much fun. If you want, later on, um, I can put, in, I can make a video of instructions on how to download it and how to make it work on your MacBook. I, I mean, or Mac computer in general. I don't know about, um, Our dog other... is really trying to get into the shop. I mean, I don't know about other, like, PCs and stuff. Like, I don't have a PC. I mean, I would like to have a big desktop that I can play Sims on so I can make better... He doesn't like it when I grab his scruff. Better um, videos. Um, for... Push him down. I'm squeezing. Um, oh, for y'all's viewing pleasure... 
Um, but yeah, Wicked Whims mod is fucking fun. Um, I would, I, 10 out of 10 would download again. He's hiding under you. Okay, that's all I have to say. Your turn. All right, next up on the agenda. We aspire Breeze. Sex with somebody. It, that is not the title. It is not the Aspire Breeze Sex with Somebody. You're going to get a nice little MDF box. If anybody doesn't know what that means, I didn't either. It's basically just particle board. Inside the box, some instruction pamphlets, possibly a warranty thing. Some O-rings for your device. And or a micro USB, very short, probably for car charging. That's what the inside of the box looks like. You will get two coils. You do not get one pre-install. You have to install it yourself. This is what the coils look like. You usually get a 0.6 and a 1.2. We both we got two one point or point sixes. This is what the mod looks like. It usually has a cap on top just to make sure no nasty jammies get inside. Drip tip. It's also your coil removal tool. We'll go over that in just a sec. There's the inside. On the side is your juice level gauge. Ours is up at the top. That red line is where you fill it to when you open it up. And right now, I'm going to show you how to do that. Put the coil tool in there, that little piece of metal, and you use it to unscrew. You could also use a large flat head, but I don't think you'd want to do that. You unscrew until you can freely grab it and pull it out. And that is where your coil goes. It screws into the, ch the chimney right there. You put it down inside. You twist until you catch the threads and you're good to rock. Just like with any coil, you're gonna wanna prime it first before you put it in there so that you don't get dry hits. This one worked fairly well, fairly fast. But your mileage may vary. Screw it down just tight, put it on there. And this has two functions. One, it has auto draw function. When it's charging or being used, little LED will light up. And then the second function is it has button fire, which I personally like for this reason. You can do mouth to lung over and over again, kind of like chain vaping for mouth to lung, without worrying about it stopping firing and having to fire back up again, and the mouth to lung draw just sucks. You can also do very, very restricted lung inhales. Watch. But other than that, it puts off a little bit of flavor. It's nothing too special, but she used to smoke cigarettes more than I did. I did not smoke them very much, but I do for some reason like little mouth to lung devices like this. See how big that top is? It's real fat. Decent vapor production, flavors kind of on the lower end. And then she found something that happens that's pretty weird with this. If you blow into it, It'll auto fire for a quick second. And then to turn it off, you just press the fire button. It's, fire button's all you got. It's just a basic device, but it's very nice. I would rate this an easy six for similar devices. Not used a whole lot of them, but the ones I have used, this is the particular one that I like the most. Would you rate it? <coughs> um, I think last night I said a seven. I'm gonna stick by that. Hey, we have a viewer. Who? I don't know. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. If you uh, go ahead and tell us who you are, because we can't really see. Tell us down in the comments who you are. Comment your name. Pull up the chat, or is it just the chat settings? No, that's just the chat settings. Sorry about my finger in the camera. But hello, welcome. 
you are about 30 minutes into a stream that we aren't sure how long it's going to be. But yeah, that was the Aspire Breeze. I gave it a six comparatively toward other devices. I wish there was more flavor coming out of it. Vapor production's nice. It's a good little all-in-one kit to start out with. And it's on the cheap. At a brick and mortar, which we do support going to those simply because it, mom and pop shops are nice. You can probably go on your own profile and check out the live stream and see who's there. Possibly. But no. I give it a six. She gives it a seven. I forget what the next item was. My mag. The mag. Oh, yes. The dreaded smock mag 225 kit we're not going to be going over the tank on top she's probably still going to be playing we're going to be going over the mod itself that's a lie animals do have periods you lied to me motherfucker animals have periods spread the word so i'm going to go over why i like it and she's going to go over why she likes it i'm much better about talking about screens and things like that than she is but she's the one who's been using this very consistent consistently for a while so, this is the re thing that initially drew me to it. It looks like a gun grip. Now, anybody who's ever held Apparently a gun... I'm the only one watching. Anybody who's ever held a gun... No, you're out too. Mm. Anybody who's ever held a gun before knows just how nice the grips feel. This is a little heavier than just a gun grip by itself, but it feels very ergonomic. This is very hand. trippy and I don't like it. Can I please turn this off? Yes, you can turn it off now. It feels very ergonomic in the hand, and best feature that I feel like is on this mod is this little mag release right there. So your batteries in, you can tell which direction to put them in, it has battery orientation on there, and then you slide it back in. She'll go over some of the issues here in just a moment. I apparently don't get any say when they have sex anymore. Hmm. I don't know what she's talking about. So, mag release button right here for the batteries. Let's go over the screen now. Five clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on, I'll pull it up here. No, it's right here. The other day, my friend was driving and a little drunk, 0.8 over the legal limit and hit a person that was, and that's all I can see. Super. Um, oh, here it is. No, it's not okay. Um, that is definitely not okay. I don't know who you are. First of all, and BB, that's all it says is BB. Okay, BB. Sorry. Um, Probably shouldn't joke about that. No, it's, it's not okay, and let me tell you why. One. And I'm going to start, I'm going to preface with this. So I have a more biased opinion than most. Um, Who my... left the scene, your friend or the person they hit? Because you said the other person was super drunk. No. Uh, hit the per hit. A person that was super drunk and left the scene. So I'm not sure who left the scene, but we'll go over both sides of this real quick. Okay. And, and this is no matter who it was, um, coming from the standpoint that my dad, um, I'm going to say was because he's recovering. My dad is a recovering alcoholic and on my birthday, he almost died in a car wreck from being drunk. Um, so I keep in mind, that's where I'm coming from. Um, and keep in mind, I don't know how old you are. I don't know how old your friend is. I don't know any of that, but I'm looking at this from the standpoint of somebody who deeply loves an alcoholic or a recovering one exactly um so no it and i know i keep just babbling but like i'll go over some of the finer points here in a sec for if you want actual like advice this is an emotional standpoint kind of thing for her so i'm gonna let her talk like just just think about this for a second if your I, like and I don't know who, again keep in mind I don't know who fled the scene I don't I don't know any of that um but think about what had happened if your friend had been severely injured if your friend um or if the person they hit had been severely injured 
like think about how their family would have felt think about how you would have felt just from that not even the legal standpoint of it but just standpoint of think about how that would have affected you and your family now i'm going to go over a little bit of the legal standpoint here so i am not a lawyer i do not recommend listening to anything that i say from a legal standpoint like for actual legal advice but here's the problem your friend was driving drunk the person that they hit was possibly driving drunk as well we're not going to go over them as much your friend automatically should not have been driving drunk if i ever go to the bar and get any sort of tipsy regardless of whether i am drunk or not which has not actually happened yet i okay there you go there's another comment so go ahead and pull it up for me if you would i know your sims are having sex but this is more important no i was going to make stop it okay i was actually in the car i didn't really care with his his decision because I wasn't driving and the person that got hit was trying to cross the sidewalk on a red no walk. Okay. Here's another, hang on, before we go any further, were you drunk? Because if you were, <coughs> or if you weren't, you were just as responsible as he was. Because you were sober, you should have been the one driving. You should have been conscious of, okay, I'm the sober one. Uh, he does not, he or she does not need to be driving. I think it's a he. Now, that person should not have been crossing the crosswalk. But because your friend was driving drunk, we're not going to name names. I don't want to know names. I don't want to be in this. I do not want to be part of this for not reporting this. But your friend was driving drunk. That is in itself illegal. Two, a hit and run is illegal. No matter if he is drunk or not, if you hit somebody or something and you flee, flee the scene of the crime, that is another charge on you, as well as your friend. Your friend especially, but on you as well because you were sober in the car or drunk in the car, regardless. Three, if you were sober and you did not take over the wheel for your drunk friend, that is in itself a violation. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this to you straight. I'm not trying to be judgmental or rude but that in itself is a violation. You should, not a violation, but should have been the first go-to thing to do. You should have taken over the wheel and maybe then that person that y'all hit or the object or the car, whatever that y'all hit may not have been hit from having a, an uninebriated brain driving that car. Honestly, even if you're under the age and you aren't supposed to be driving, that would still be better than hitting a person or an object. Hang on. Oh, so you're, okay. That person, yes, was in the wrong. If they actually jumped in front of you, yes, they were in the wrong. But because you were inebriated, that automatically makes it your fault as well. If you had not been inebriated, you still might have been somewhat at fault. But because you were, that automatically makes it just as much your fault as the person who jumped in front of the car. I am not judging here. I am not telling you what you should and shouldn't have done. But leaving the scene of a crime, driving drunk, and I, there was a third one that I forgot what I was going to say with it. You have to be more diligent. You have to. Does that answer your question? I, I don't believe that leaving the scene was the right decision. Because now if somebody finds out what had happened, or your, your car is identified or his car is identified, it makes it that much worse because you ran from the scene. It would have been bad regardless, but if you now are found out, it's going to make it that much worse. Once again, I'm not giving you legal advice. I'm not judging you for your decision, but or you and your friend's decision. But in my personal opinion, that is what should have happened. Is y'all should have stayed. Y'all should have called the cops. And regardless of the consequences, hitting and run should not have happened. Her sim is humping a pillow.
It doesn't matter. He was still over the legal limit. He still should, should not have been driving. Now, after all that being said, her emotional point, my actual, this is this is what you should not have been doing. Thank you for tuning into the chat or t- tuning into our live stream. I'm not sure who you are, but I hope the issue gets resolved regardless of whether you get in and trouble. I hope that this was helpful because whether y'all get in trouble uh, or there's some resolution between you and the person or whatever or if nothing happens i thank you for listening to us babble and i hope that we were helpful in any way um thanks can you please stop with this mod bb i hope things work out for you i just wanted to get your advice because i typed in drunk live stream to get started. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. This wasn't exactly the drunk live stream you were expecting, but I thank you for t- tuning in and you should subscribe because we do weird shit and we will be doing drunk live streams or drunk reviews in the future. Like how much would you like to see drunk Mario Kart? I think that would be fun. Um and we also take suggestions as long as we can afford it. There you go. Or if you would like to donate something to the channel, go for it. We'll be getting a P.O. box very soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. P.O. box is possible. This is true. All right. Back to what we were saying. Oh, and if you have any more questions, let us know in the chat. The mag kit. I forgot where I was. Ergonomics are good. Mag release is awesome. The screen. <coughs> five clicks to turn it on. As soon as you turn it on, it's going to ask you new or old. Generally speaking, unless you have the exact same Addy on there, you hold down the fire button on the option that you would like to choose. Three clicks to... I forget what three clicks does. Three clicks to change the wattage, the preheat boost, and the ohms on your coil, as well as the material that you were using. Ow. For your coil so this that's how you get the temp control fire and oh, have wait, string cheese? we have another comment if you can go get it it's right there next to you no it's not it should it's be in there. the no it should be in that bag no or, it's not i put all the cold okay. stuff in one bag the dog is being annoying that's why i, well, I you appreciate to... your advice on the situation but i think it might be a conflict of issue just in case no, we're not, we're not, that's We won't not, do that, like, that's... We don't know who you are, we, it wouldn't help anyways. Bye. Bye. Well, that was interesting. She's gonna go get string cheese. Back to the mag. Okay, so, I've already told you how to... <laughs> what is it? They're deleting all the, he's deleting all his messages. Shit. Well... Regardless, thank you for tuning in, BB. I hope that we helped in some sort of way. The down and fire the down and fire button will let you also switch between metals if you so choose. Do you want some sausages? As well, and then down and up. What did your phone do? I have a message on Facebook. No, I'm not I'm I'm not hungry right now. Yeah. The up and fire button will let you change between soft, hard, and normal. Well, I want some sausages. Then like you hold the fire problem. button down, and that's how it stays. Down or down and up at the same time locks the screen. Just Speaking quick. of my dad, would y'all like to see what he? Hi, honey. You down? 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 Up and fire button at the same time, real quick. Locks the screen. Unlock it. Lock the screen. The ramp up time sucks, unless you're going on hard mode, which you shouldn't have to do. Get down, get down, get down. You right? What's wrong? Okay, I really should not have opened my phone because I'm mildly traumatized now. The battery life on this sucks because the chip is not rated to a very good battery usage. And I can't get this open. There are some other issues with it that she will explain just in a second while I open her snotsage. Okay. And this is the one thing about this mod that I just, ow! That I just cannot fucking stand. Sometimes I will, um, like, pick up my mod 
I won't push any buttons. Like I will pick it up like this to avoid like hitting the button thingy. Um, and the battery pack will fall out. The mag. But like it's not like it falls out. Like it, it just it doesn't ever come off the table. It's real weird. But yeah. There you go. It's kind of open. Use the knife. Our dog is annoying. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt somebody with that. Other than that, I would give it a rating of about 5.5 to 6. I love the ergonomics. I absolutely love the aesthetics of the whole mod. Oh, it's I... been done before. We know it's been done before. I've seen it. What? I'm fairly certain Asmodus did a different kind of gun grip-esque looking mod before. This one's just Smock's rendition, but I absolutely love it. And I would give it a 5.5 or 6 out of 10, just because there are issues. What would you rate it? Uh, being that this is the only mod I've used in about a month, like I absolutely adore this mod. I use it regularly. Um, I, I think aside from those two problems, um, um, Our dog really wants to say hi, so I'm gonna say, let him say hi. Nope, he doesn't want um, to be picked up. My only other real problem with it is just the battery life. But aside from that, I really do love this mod, and I honestly think I could give it about a seven. I give it a solid seven. There you go. So there you go. That was the MAG 225 watt mod. We'll be doing the prints later once I get a new bubble glass for my prints so that we can give you two different perspectives and show you if there's any differences in between mods or between tanks. The dog is being annoying. No, I don't. I don't want to bite of your snotsage. Can you help? Can you can you get him or something? All right, on to what did he knock over? I don't know. Well, babe, I need you. Do you want me to put him up for a few minutes? Ow, he just bit the crap out of me. Do you want me to put him up for a few minutes? Yeah, cause he just got me. Our dog is in his terrible twos. Here. You're dumb. Hey, no. What did he get? Do you want this? All right, on to the next thing. We'll be going over, if I can find it. We'll be going over my beard, guys. Now, we are gonna be going over this. Look at that. Look at it. He got to me. I pulled on his tail. It was my fault. We'll be going over this harness that we got off of Wish. Now, this is not a stretchy harness, guys. If this does not fit over your dog's head, you wasted your money. But I personally think it works fairly well. It's really simple to set up. You slide this over your dog's head. You take this clip. You pass it through this little loop on the back, around behind his front legs. And then you clip it in. It's fairly simple, but there it is. Now, this, he loves his harness way more than he likes the collar that we originally got him. It works a lot better. Keeps him from pulling off, pulling as much and he cannot get it off. So, that that is very important. He cannot get it off. Honestly, for the harness, if you get the right size for your dog, I'm gonna call that an awesome. It, it, it works well, it is decent quality. He hasn't been able to rip it up as opposed to me, which he rips up very easy. So I'll give that a, an awesome out of an A or B. What would you rate the harness? What did you rate it? I rated it an awesome. It works way, it works way it's supposed to. Oh, we're not rating it a number, just... No. This is, the, this is the awesome or bullshit portion. Awesome. Now, on to, on to the other part. 
these cheap emotional support animal ta or tags, I guess you could Badges. say. Badges. They're supposed to attach to most harnesses, but here's the thing. That is two inches wide. Two inches. Your dog any smaller, if your dog is any smaller than 35 pounds, these are not gonna work on the harness that he has. Plus, they only come with the scratchy side of the Velcro, not the other side to attach it around something with. So unless you somehow manage to get something that will hold this on there very tightly, it's not gonna work out very well for you. I'm gonna call these a bullshit, but I think she's got a different opinion than me. Okay. I'm going from the stand. Keep in mind, we didn't get the the bet. You like moved it. Like, I'm not even in the camera anymore. I'm coming from the standpoint of if you actually got a decent, like a like heavy duty harness, there's going to be a place for you to stick those on. We're not like, torturing the dog, by the way. Yeah, he's in his kennel. He's just not happy about it. Um, that's just my standpoint. I think. If I had a better harness, I would write, I would definitely rate them an awesome. But as of right now, because I don't give you any parameters on what size you're going to get or what they can stick to, I'm giving it a bullshit until further notice. That has been two throw it in reverse type reviews, three vape and rate reviews, and two awesome or bullshit reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Me and her are going to get out of here so she can play her game and I can use my phone again. And we will see you guys next time on Reviews Like a Sir. Stay gentlemanly, my friends. That was so dumb. Bye, guys. Peace.